Hi folks, so a couple of weeks ago my smartphone, this uh, Eula phone here, actually gave up the ghost and stopped working on me. It was the battery that finally gave out in the end. It gave me about two to three years, I think, ab about that, of reasonably steady usage and then just after after that period of time uh, the battery just didn't charge up all the way and it was pretty much downhill from there. And I've got to say, although I didn't pay that much for the phone, it was about 130 British pounds uh, plus a little extra for the extended warranty, uh, I would have hoped that it la would have lasted a little bit longer than that. So anyway, after that happened, I gave it a bit of thought about as to whether or not I wanted to replace it with any kind of smartphone. Now, I looked around and, and looked at sort of refurbished models, and actually when it comes to smartphones, there are quite a fair number of, if you're willing to go, you know, a few models back, you can get a decent name brand uh, refurbished or second-hand smartphone for a pretty reasonable price, and that was definitely where I was, uh, where I was looking. But then, you know, it got me thinking that um, I was, you know, taking as many Google services as possible off of the uh, the Eula phone, off of the smartphone. And uh, I generally was looking to uh, uh, looking to find alternatives to Google products uh, generally around the place. But also, um, I, you know, I, I, I've been looking to sort of roll back a lot of smartphone usage. There are a lot of reasons why I'm not too fond of the idea of smartphones. Now, they're, obviously, they're wonderful and useful tools for a whole number of reasons. When I travel, they basically make up the usability of a laptop for me in a lot of cases. That, you know, you can put films on them, you can put TV shows, you can put music and podcasts, you can surf the internet on them pretty well as well these days. You can use them for anything that you can really use, uh, you know, a laptop for. And in, when I travel around to, you know, uh, conventions and conferences and all that kind of stuff um, it, it's often the case that I, I, where I would have needed to have brought a laptop or where I would have expected to have brought a laptop just being able to you know respond and and um, uh, and, and, and write basic emails on a phone has really been quite useful but um, of course there is no denying that the uh, level of surveillance from various different parties is a lot more easier and convenient for them when it comes to uh, mobile phones. There's obviously security hazards. The more information you've got on such a portable device that's constantly connected to the internet all the time uh, with permissions that you're not always familiar with, it presents a general security risk. And that's not to say that there aren't um, various privacy risks when it comes to other, when it comes to dumb phones, when it comes to non um, smart smartphones it did give me uh, it did get me thinking about well you know shall I shall I take a run at not using a smartphone and just having a look at um, what my options are outside of that and then I thought well okay well I'm gonna get my um, the old 3310 out as an interim phone anyway so this is my Nokia 3310 it's been featured on this channel before as you can see it's got a wonderful old cheap plastic case that I think I picked up from a market somewhere for like three pound it's got the Welsh dragon there with Wales written in a rather odd font on the back there um, and I think Nokia 3310s, to be honest, in general, as phones, are pretty wonderful products. They they do the job of a phone and text messaging device. They work as on pay as you go. Um, nowadays, you can pick them up for well. I've got a uh, I've got the, my my web browser up here, and I was actually just checking prices of 3310s uh, in terms of uh, cases here. Uh, here in the UK, uh, you can pick them up. So there's a pre-owned one for, for 20 quid, there's 15 quid that's a refurbished one. Uh, to be honest, if you were willing to just get the various parts and put them together, you could get one for under 10 pounds, but f there's uh, the 17 pounds there for, for one, the refurbished one. Um, I just found this, th I just kept this in the drawer where I keep all my wires. I've got actually, I've got two um, of these Nokia chargers uh, lying around. Uh, I've got some various cases, which, and I have, one of the things I really love about the 3310 is is that there are there are there are huge numbers of cases. I got my uh, the website up here as well, and I was looking at cases, and one of the reasons why the cases are so good uh, is because they completely encase the overall um, phone itself. You drop this on the floor, you crack the screen, anything happens to it, um, you can replace the overall screen for just a couple of quid and you're as good as new. Um, and of course now, with so many of these being around and in production, you can pick one up second hand for, well, I mean, we were looking at refurbished ones here for less than 20 quid, but you can shop around for a lot less than that. The trouble is, is that Nokia, of course, have re-released the 3310. I've got it here as well for the 3310, the 2017 version. So, I picked that up as well, and I got a 3310 
2017 model. And um, over the next couple of weeks, I'm actually going to be comparing the two. Uh, so Nokia thought that they might ride off of the back of the success of the standard Nokia 3310 by re-releasing it uh, in 2017 last year. It's still a dumb phone, so it's not a smartphone, but it has a lot more on it. So as you can see here, it's just got the it's got a, it's a colourful screen on the background. Uh, you unlock it the same way. It feels somewhat intuitive. It's dual SIM. It can take two SIM cards, which is particularly interesting as well. So uh, I don't know. I don't personally find that particularly useful. Uh, it seems like an additional bell slash whistle for a 3310. One of the reasons people tend to like the 3310 is because it's such a simple phone. It's such a durable phone. Um, it's such a practical phone in that regard for the for, for its use as a phone. So if I go into the menu. It's, uh, it's reasonably intuitive to actually get to use. But if I go into the menu and I scroll around, there's a lot more to it than the original 3310. Like, they seem to have gotten what is a standard dumb phone and just put it in a vague model of a 3310, truth be told. In fact, there is even a WhatsApp application there. Uh, you, there's even Facebook on this phone, which a lot of people who are picking up the Nokia 3310 don't want Facebook. Uh, they want to get away from stuff like that. There's videos you can pl you can play videos on this. I believe you can use this as an MP3 player, which would be something that I would find quite useful for. Uh, but in all honesty, it seems like uh, it seems like they've missed some of the point when it comes to this new uh, uh, Nokia 3310. Additionally, it's actually really difficult. At least it was difficult for me to actually open the case off of it. And when the case is off, you can only replace the back half of the case, whereas with the, the original Nokia 3310, you could replace the whole thing. Also, that is a bit of a difference in size. Like the new, the Nokia 3310 from last year is actually a bit bigger, but also quite flatter. Now, all things considered, this actually, the newer one, fits better in the pocket because, of its, because it is a little bit flatter. But, um, so if you perhaps... Um, want a phone for, uh, I guess, you know, this is a very easy phone, a very intuitive phone to use. So if you've got someone who's, for one reason or another, not very tech savvy, or I'm sure there are maybe even access, uh, accessibility use cases for this, then, um, you know, someone who, who just might want big buttons, maybe, uh, you know, people with some degree of visual impairment or, um, or anything like that, you know, this phone is very easy to use. It's, um, uh, you know, it's 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 quite uh, uh, high contrast icons, big letters, um, nice easy to use buttons that glow. So, from that point of view, it probably is quite a successful phone in the mission that it sets up. But for people who are looking to get away from smartphones, who are looking to have just a a, a line of communication, maybe to friends, family, emergency uh, services, and that's about it. Which is in a, in a lot of cases what I need a phone for in its most basic capacity then this Nokia 3310 I feel has me covered, but I'm not going to rule it out just yet. I'm going to spend a week with this one, uh, just getting my bearings back. And already after today, it just feels like an uh, like I've just, uh, you know, put on like an old glove or something, you know, like a, or, or like riding a bike. It's just, um, uh, I'm screwing up my metaphors there. Uh, but, you know, I'm, um, it's just like an old friend, this. You just put it on. Uh, a comfortable pair of shoes, you know, you, you take the uh, metaphor of your choice there. Um, and um, and it's just, it, you know, everything's intuitive about it. Everything's uh, easy. To, you know, the buttons are, are pronounced, they're prominent, they're, they're deliberate. Everything about that phone I absolutely like. This, this is a bit of, I, I reckon this is a step backwards. But like I say, I live with it for a week and see what I can do. It's, it, I've, in fact, I've even given a rather nasty crack on the front side of the case here, which can't be replaced, trying to get the back of the, uh, the thing open here. So I do have to say, when it comes to first impressions of this, the new Nokia 3310, I gotta say, it feels like a step backward. It feels like a step backward. It feels like they, they've they've put in a whole bunch of stuff that uh, I don't think people are going to necessarily care about. You could even browse the internet on this phone. Why would you buy a 3310 if you intended to browse the internet? Just buy a smartphone. There are plenty of really good smartphones available. This. Uh, this doesn't necessarily seem like it's for my particular market, but like I say, I will give it a go. It feels nice in the hand. It's got a it's got a really terrible camera on it as well. So uh, when it comes to the camera, yeah, like to be honest, it's never made me feel particularly comfortable to have a device with a camera on all the time, just you know around like that. As you know, we've got cameras everywhere now, and. Um, 
and it strikes me as well if you don't need to have a camera on it why have you got a camera on it so i don't think you know this has a whole bunch of bells and whistles on that i don't think really belong on a minimalist basic 3310 style phone one thing i do like about it and one thing that i wish you could do with the 3310 is that this can be charged up with a standard phone micro usb charger uh, which is how i imagine you also get the music on this also has bluetooth on this doesn't need bluetooth this it should this phone should be basic enough that you don't need bluetooth um but unfortunately of course there is um there's uh there's bluetooth on that as um which again it's a waste of like hardware it's a waste of software you know uh this was great because of not what it was but because of what it wasn't i mean at the time it was seen as, as pretty uh pioneering um you know consumer technology like this was uh, the, the the smallest phone of its day uh, and i think this i don't know like to me this feels maybe i'm a bit nostalgic here like it was the height of the mobile phone uh thing you know it was simple it was straightforward it, they genuinely were accessible um everyone you know who i went to school with they had their own case for their own phone and you know that that's that's hit a very consumer level a very you know joe public level of consumer engagement with technology when when that kind of situation occurs um nowadays i you know it um yeah, like, I don't know. Uh, what, what I have definitely been considering, though, is that if I do decide to, to pick up a smartphone again, which I probably will do, I'm going to keep one of these with my uh, personal number on. And um, then I can completely discard the smartphone if I ever want to turn it off permanently and just run with this um, as, a, as a way of... of um, sort of getting the best of both worlds having a smartphone you know the conveniences of a smartphone that i can perhaps take with me when i'm on the road but then i can completely shut it down when i'm uh when i'm at home so uh, and then just sort of rely on this one and also one of the other things about this one this feels actually really quite um uh good to uh, i keep holding this up here and blocking the uh blocking the lights so sorry about that but i keep like this is just a nice phone to hold like it feels like you know you know where the earpiece is it feels like it sufficiently reaches uh around through the mouth um it that, that doesn't like especially with the um the big sort of the tablet-esque phones here something doesn't feel right about you know sort of smushing this this plate up to the side of your face that your greasy fingers have been at all day it just is something it's a strange um something again that doesn't um that has never really sat completely well with me on that one so uh yeah i'm going to do the ultimate of de-googling and actually get rid of the android operating system and for the next week i'm going to go back to the 3310 and then i'm going to go to the 3310 2017 see what that's all about um i've got to say 3310 2017 few things i like about it it feels nice it's nice it's nice weight it's quite light um i actually quite like the flatter but slightly larger approach i could live with the size but i don't like the camera i don't like the fact that there's facebook or whatsapp apps on there i don't think you need the second sim card although there's no arm in having it i guess um and i wouldn't mind like using it as an mp3 player but you know after thinking about it a little bit uh, again it's a waste of hardware you can have an mp3 player separate to uh, one of these phones um, and you just don't need to have that technology in there in the first place uh, you can replace the batteries in these which you can't with a lot of phones nowadays as well so uh, kudos to to that side of things is that you can get replacement backs for the new Nokia 3310s you can get the um, uh, you can get so you can get quite a lot of cases and covers and all that kind of stuff uh, and you can get replacement batteries so uh, at least with the 3310 one of the things i've always liked about it is that it's the most repairable of the phones uh, in fact i was just looking around here i've got a spare case over here so if, if my front case goes missing i've already got that lying around i've actually got a spare chassis here so if so that and that still works as well i've got two chargers and i don't even like you know this is just stuff i've picked up as time goes by um and I'm sure I've given stuff away as well to, to other people. So uh, one other thing that I do want to talk about just before I leave you guys today is that, as you can see, I've been looking at the, uh, the, the eBay here in particular. I quite like eBay. It gives you a good glance at the secondhand market, uh, which I always think is quite good. So you can get plenty of, of, of cases here, but you can also get a fair number of cases for, uh, for the old Nokia, uh, for the new Nokia as well. Uh, but the prices between the new Nokias, so you can get, I, I, th I seem to think that the average price for these new Nokia 3310s are in fact around 30 quid. This one actually was only 15 quid. 
Um, so I got this one for, and I shopped around a little bit, but I didn't shop around huge, you know, hugely extensively. Um, so they seem to vary wi uh, widely in price, wildly in, in price rather. Uh, so this one here, this one's forty six ninety nine, which is, seems quite a bit. Um, but yeah, you can you can pick them up for uh, for less than that. Um, but yeah, they, so they definitely vary quite a lot when it comes to price. Like I said, hopes aren't necessarily high for the 3310, the new one that is. I think the classic has uh, everything you need. When you're looking for simplicity and reliability and a phone that you can repair, then the 3310 is, is where it's at, in my humble opinion. It's everything that I like in a piece of technology. It's not particularly open source, but it's incredibly accessible. Uh, the parts that you can get are completely cheap. You can get them off eBay. You could uh, pick up, um, you could probably pick them up at car boot sales and all kinds of secondhand sales, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's it's all about that right, you know, that right to repair kind of stuff, and 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 the idea, just also from an environmental standpoint, is that a lot of uh, carbon emissions go into the creation of new electronics and new phones, and at the end of the day, the most uh, the, the most environmentally friendly phone that you can use is the phone that will last the longest. Anyway, that's enough of me wittering on. Um, but overall, yeah, I, um, I'm actually quite looking forward to getting back into using the 3310. I don't make a lot of phone calls, so it's not going to be uh, a particularly hugely impactful uh, decision on my life. And uh, like I said, if I go back to, uh, to smartphones again, I'm probably going to have a smartphone and this phone uh, as well. So that way I can completely remove the smartphone when, uh, you know, as and when I uh, I wish to without actually having to uh, get rid of all communications. So that's pretty good. And then, of course, I'm going to try the new 3310 and see what the fuss is all about. But I've got to say, uh, it's uh, it's looking like the, uh, the classic might be holding on to its seat. But anyway, that's about it from me today. Uh, don't forget to check out my Twitch ch channel. I'm streaming over there quite a lot. And if you're not a fan of Twitch, I have a gaming channel, which I stream to a lot as well. Uh, I'll make sure that links are down in the description. Uh, but that's about it from me today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the whole phone thing. What are you using and why down in the comment section below. Until next time, I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome. Take care now.